Optimizing the paging file has been used as a Windows optimization technique for quite some time and basically what it is is you're optimizing the way Windows handles your memory in low memory situations. If you have a Windows 8 computer I recommend a minimum of 4 gigabytes of memory. Same with Windows 7. If you have Windows XP I always recommend 2 and if you have anything earlier than that I'm surprised you're watching this video. Anyways to optimize your paging file just right click on computer on your desktop and select properties. Once it comes up, you're going to see my embarrassing Windows Experience Index. Go ahead and ignore that because I'm running in a virtual machine. On the left-hand side, choose Advanced System Settings, and then you want to select the Advanced tab at the very top of the, uh, the System Properties window. Lastly, you want to select Settings under Performance, and we're going to select Advanced in the uh, Performance Options window as well. And then for Virtual Memory, we want to select Change. This is where we're going to disable the automatic managing of paging file sizes and we're going to manually configure it ourselves. Now what I recommend people usually do is they look down here at the bottom. You see where it actually shows minimum allowed, recommend, recommended, and then currently allocated. If you have a recommended value here of 2 to 8 gigs, I usually recommend you use the recommended value. If it's above that, go ahead and use it as well. Remember, it won't start using this space until you run out of system memory. So I'm going to select custom size here and I'm going to type in my recommended 2047 and then you got to put that for the initial and the maximum. Once you've done both of those just select set and then you got to select OK. Now if you have 8 gigs of memory on your Windows 7 or 8 operating system or more I actually recommend you just disable the paging file by selecting no paging file and then make sure again you select set and then you select OK. Now once you've done that, we're going to select OK, and it'll give you this nice little prompt that says the changes require you to restart. You're going to select OK, and then you're going to select Apply, and then OK again, and then OK again, and then go ahead and restart. That's it.